Today I have to change the pocket of my mother's lap coat. At first I will mark the corners of the pocket using sewing chalk. This will help me to position the new pocket in the exact same place. Now measure the width and the length of the pocket. Cut a fabric piece that is 2 cm wider and 5 cm longer than the pocket. Fold the longer end twice towards the wrong side of the piece to make the hem. The hem should be 2 cm. Now sew the hem. The wrong side of the piece is facing up so I can easily see where to sew. You can use a sewing gauge to measure the stitches on the original pocket to set the stitch length of the machine to the same setting. This would be the right side of the pocket. Now use a seam ripper and remove the old pocket. You can use some scotch tape to remove all the sticking threads. Now fold a sheet of cardboard as shown in the video to make a template for the new pocket. The template must be the same width as the pocket. Now iron the piece for the new pocket. Use steam for better results. At this stage the new pocket must be 2 cm wider and 1 cm longer than the old one. Place the pocket so the wrong side is facing up. Now place the cardboard template in the center and use the iron to fold the sides. Be careful if you are using steam at this stage. The steam can easily slide across the surface of the cardboard and burn your hand. To get great looking corners fold the fabric around the template by hand. Now it should look like this. When you remove the cardboard template the pocket will be ready for sewing. As you can see it is the exact same size as the old one. Now align the new pocket with the markings on the lap coat and place pins on each corner. Now you only have to sew it. Remember to first create 3 to 4 stitches on the upper side before proceeding to sew around the pocket. This would make the pocket more reliable. Then finish the seam by sewing the same 3 to 4 stitches on the other end. And this is what the new pocket looks like. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.